So yeah, this is the part Actually, where, before... for those that don't know, there is a part where they ask questions from chat. Oh no. That never ends well. Oh, here's the first one where they ask questions from chat. The Emperor gets to answer your questions. What do you think will happen, Fable? I am the Emperor. Uh, Before chat will probably have... ask weird first questions. What do you think, guys? What are we heading into? You a you get to ask the Emperor of Man a question. I'll just be asking him why is he sitting in that chair instead of doing shit. <laughs> Just asking him why he's sitting in that chair instead of doing shit. After all the things I've told you, Chrono, you don't even remember that. I know, that. I know, I'm just... It was a joke. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> existed along from the time of my birth. I oh my god. That would be something that I would ask, did though. My best to have it just be like, why the fuck are you sitting in that chair instead of doing shit for your goddamn country? <laughs> I feel like he's a perfect candidate for... Hmm, what legion should we throw Chrono in? Oh god. <laughs> Uh, let's throw him Fable. Should we throw him in with the Iron Warriors? Oh, oh that would be oh, really no. rude, so sure. <laughs> that would be really rude. But, kept okay. I can yeah. Let's see how it is around here. But could only watch from afar as its health deteriorated and vegetation grew bleak. As I entered into the realm of the Half Life, the only Half -Life. Thing experience was despair. My work that I, I had driven thing. to construct for such a long time had been obliterated and but a mere moment. Mankind, my once pure seed, had fallen pure into the seed. hands of sheep, corrosive and preposterous prudence. And at no other time has this been displayed as intensely. As I'll be honest, uh, Common, I forgot about that bit. I would not like to remember what the Demunculaba is. Very moment. It's uh, the story is very interesting. Uh, basically, let me put you know, there's a lot of gross things in uh, 40k fate, um, uh, chrono. Yeah, you told me about all the yeah, the, the Demunculaba is so gross that the person that saw it, the psyker that saw it in the future, literally threw up, and he has to deal with some of the grossest shit usually. Holy shit. Worst fucking shit I yeah, have like, ever read. Oh, in body, then like I highly I... recommend it only for the body horror aspect. However, the writing is very campy because the bad guy and the hero are incredibly campy with their wording, which is really yeah. funny. Yeah, compared it's... to how they're trying to make it into something incredibly. Well, yeah, dark. whatever has become of mankind, the emperor asked you, you know, mankind. Oh, the gods, the new world order. We are the chosen, the legions of light. We are the center, the death of the sun, fire and flame. We are one. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to deal with the orcs eventually. Now, now, and no. let me remind you, you were the one who came up with this idea in the first place. That's your fault because you <laughs> have informed me well enough about how incredibly, disgustingly fucking idiotic mankind has become. I mean, I just thought you were a special <laughs> piece. Now, this makes me so sad. Uh, <laughs> maybe uh. you just misread or something. I mean, these questions couldn't have been that bad. Besides, what we supposed to make fun of them? In here, let me read some to you. Okay, here's, here's the first ahead. question. Let me plow through these one more time before I actually pass out and fall off this fucking chair. <laughs> right, let's see. I don't even think you can fall off it. Poor low gothic. And he says. And he says <laughs> Let's see. What, uh, uh, <laughs> why Kron loves berries? <laughs> Fable, do you have a retort? No, I do not. <laughs> do you have an answer? <laughs> I don't have an answer, no. <laughs> I'm a chrono, what do you think? Hold on! What the fuck was that question? <laughs> <laughs> I I had to use the restroom, so I was listening in why? on the whole thing. <laughs> why corn, why corn, loves corn loves cones? Yes. Why corn loves cones? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. I don't know. 
Well, I have no mouth and I must agree. A very good short story, very horrible, and I will one day force Fable to play the video game. You gotta pay me. I'm not doing it for free. It was giving you the game, Cal is paying you? Maybe. <laughs> Alright, fuck it, next question. This one is from Mont Joseph Lyons. He okay. asks, Hello, mighty god emperor of mankind. Were you to send your sentience to a new body to rule once more and bring mankind back properly into the light that is your majesty? What we should have is the first meal. Something really tasty, I bet. You can <laughs> ask one question. <laughs> A question that could be whatever deep and philosophical and brief that dwells inside the perplexing and winding wonders of the human mind that you could potentially come up with, and you ask about fucking food. <laughs> then again, I probably should not judge since the Imperium clearly is some kind of bureaucratic police state driven through ignorance yeah. and idiocy nowadays, so it is only natural for your regular RG world peasant to only ever think about food. As for an I actual mean... answer to that question, oh my God. I'd probably go for some tacos. <laughs> what are your thoughts, Fable, on the tacos? I mean, what from what I know is literally the Imperium is starving in a lot of the high cities. I mean, yeah, and that's why we help. have agri rural worlds to literally yeah, feed. So, so yeah, I I agree. I would probably go for some tacos with the Emperor. Uh, I agree. I would go for some tacos. No one would keep questioning. I'd just be going for some tacos. Oh my God! Next question. Uh, Demon <laughs> what kind of asshole parents name their child Demon Primar? <laughs> it's like they want their child crudely lynched and burnt on a stake by the brainwashed masses. <laughs> oh <my laughs> They're doing this in one of completely in character, by the way. Oh yeah! He must be referring to that one regular old imperial soldier that stepped in front of fucking horse when he was about to finish me off after he had used some dirty chaos contrivances to hunt me down on the ground for being a. Uh, do you remember Elias Pius fable? Yeah, uh, I know about them. Were they perpetual? Yes, they were, but after getting struck by Horus, I think, uh... Regular human, that man had such titanic fucking balls that I want to clap my hands vigorously just thinking about it. It is too bad that he was literally obliterated out of existence by Horus after making that selfless act. Uh, if I remember correctly what happened when Horus laughed at him when he stood in front of him and said... that he would strike him down and the guy later said, Is if you kill me, a thousand will take my place. It's also, also too bad the fact that, I... that I think he also told the Emperor when he was like falling to chaos in his own way, he's just like, listen, if you don't don't do this, if we survive this, I'll literally stay with you for the rest of forever. Just just listen to me. It's like he literally helped the Emperor not become evil, which is interesting. I like hmm. the hands to applaud him with. Yeah. Typically, well, I got a uh, uh, sub terminator. And the custodies did the exact same thing right after to prove that they were just as cool and selfless as that glorious bastard. I mean, can't you immortal superhumans of death and destructions let the regular Joes have this one thing? Come on, man. Whoa, I'm like that one. It's not like I was the one who told Santonis to throw himself in front of you and not. Well, at least they knocked for once. <laughs> Sorry if I was away. Anyway, next question. <laughs> did you see did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Doing it in his loincloth, <laughs> by the way, just jumping in front of him. Of course, of course, the custodians would immediately see this and try to replicate it. But yeah, I'm sorry I had to away for someone for some reason. Need keys for me. That person sounds like a ketchup enthusiast. <laughs> Oh my god, I catch this dude. Oh boy. I do hope this person realizes that the Eldar look at mankind <laughs> like we would look at a primate. To them, oh my god. Beasts, think He's right, though. The Eldar are so. Uh... The best way to put it is they're so not I guess the right word is entitled and arrogant. 
So kind of like the uh, what was it? The high elves in Skyrim. Yeah. Or what was it? They're the kind of like that. Thalmor? They s just see us as literal primates. Thinking in very simplistic. They actually have a. Uh, if I'm right, they actually have a term that literally means like translates to monkey. Yeah, they, they call us mon. They call humans monkai. Yeah, which is literally just monkey. Yeah, GWs think it <laughs> think they're being clever, but we can tell you're literally just calling the monkey, or the having the Eldar call them that. Yeah. yeah. And only using the greatest one. Yeah, it's uh, but yeah. The most simple of tools. So to put it short, this tall ear is basically <laughs> in the wrist cavern and is a sick bug that will get all kinds of nasty species as teethies and will most likely kill oh half the crap world because of it. Oh my so god! Yes, you have my blessing. <laughs> wow. Yes, you have my blessing. Uh, funny enough, one of his sons, Roboto Gilman, technically has an Eldar waifu right now that follows him around. <laughs> Well, if you want to go like that, he also has a rogue trader who also likes him, which is really funny. No. Uh, maybe that's fun. It's, I think uh, GW is really trying hard to can, like, to can that, but the internet's just like, no, no, you're not taking this from us. No, they're going to turn the Eldar waifu thing into a meme. And you know how I feel about that, now don't you? I uh, suppose so. It's not like I'm scared to death that every time you're upset over nothing. But I don't really care. Sorry, my lord. <laughs> I didn't have any emotions. <laughs> anyway, next question. Okay. This one is from someone named Red Keller. He asks, what happened to your left eye? <laughs> this is actually something I don't even know myself, and it still fucking infuriates me. <laughs> Why do I only get this visor on one of my eyes when both of them have obviously rotted away millennia ago? Seriously, what is its purpose? I do kind of wonder that. Here? Actually, I kind of know the answer. Same. Well, after we escorted you all face towards the Golden Throne after your battle with Horus, uh, Rogue Dawn accidentally managed to push your eye out with his giant eye halo. You know, the whole sharp, pointy, being in the shape of yeah, for those that don't know, uh, Rogaldorn's uh, armor on its back, there's a giant fucking spiky halo behind him. Like, it's just right behind his head. Mm -hmm. He poked out the upper's eye. <laughs> I'm going to teach that boy a fucking lesson in how to not poke people's eyes out while wearing giant sharp arms when I get off this throne. Uh, my lord? Dawn is dead. That isn't fucking stopping. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Well, that's not gonna stop me from spanking him. Anyway, next question is from Grey931. Oh boy, a message from the prodigies of the Silver Baby Carrier. He asks, are you going to send Drake to rehab? Do his help. Huh. I thought we'd already decreed that members of the Inquisition would all be rehabilitated. Did that galaxy-wide message not actually get to anyone? I bet they just neglect mail they consider... Yeah, they're, they're doing this quite literally in character completely. ...flakes that exist in the galaxy. I'll have to rehash and create new means of getting the message across. One which cannot be negated by inquisitorial spam filters. <laughs> there are inquisitorial <laughs> spam filters. <laughs> okay, let's go. He asks, what is your favorite color? Isn't that fucking obvious? Well, what do you think his favorite color is? Red. Purple. I slap both of you. <laughs> I don't even know. It's quite literally gold. But everything in oh, here is gold. golden. Yes. <clears throat> I was thinking purple because of the, uh... What do you think of purple is a... Oh, yeah! Uh, Miguel Caron, I think, is a writer for, uh, some of the 40k stuff, but yeah. And his team, and he should continue to do what he is doing, because he's doing an excellent job. Uh, I'm sorry, my lord, I think I'm out of the loop. Who's Miguel Caron? This is fourth degree warp realm fucker. None of your concern. The Emperor is the <laughs> only... <laughs> I need to tell you both, the Emperor is the only one that talks about the fact that GW... 
usually in these that he knows that 40k is a game and, you know, book series. Anyway. Yeah. Mori? Yeah. You okay? No, I'm dead. Oh, dear. Chrono, I guess that's your job to bring her back to life. Oh, okay, right. Next question. Come back to us, Mori. A chaplain, you say. Oh, yeah. Good. I assign chaplains to hold Marines in line and be as oh. staunch and serious about their duties as possible. I have high expectations for this question. He asks, why can't we all just be friends and stop fighting? <laughs> How did this happen to me? Got nowhere to run. The night goes on as I'm fading away. <laughs> I'm sick of this guy. I don't know what's I happening. I just want to scream. How did this happen to me? I don't remember what chap what a chaplain's actual job is. I just know what the librarian does and some of the other things that uh, the rent space marine. I, I could be wrong, but I think a chaplain's job in the uh, in the unit is to it's like different for different battles, essentially. They're there to, they're there to like give uh, war cries, uh, inspire their brothers. Oh also, yeah. Make jokes with them. It's different. It's like each one does something different, but essentially they're there for moral support to 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 help their brothers get ready for combat. Oh yeah. They're, they're supposed to be like the the moral support. Yeah, that's. Yeah, thing. they quite literally give moral support to the others. Like they'll read hymns or talk about how great the emperor is or do like war shouts. Or they sometimes make jokes, yeah. which is interesting because Space Marines aren't known for their humor. <laughs> Did you see the next question? Can you poop? Oh my goodness. Can you still poop? I'm a skeleton, so write about as much as you use your brain you fucking have with. Next question. Dear Emperor, where will the universe be the year 1999 day of World War One? At the end of the year, just like every fucking year. <laughs> Dear Emperor, how do you fat? Why thinking pleasant <laughs> thoughts about your inevitable demise. Next. Dear Emperor, what is the most fascinating thing you've ever seen? Probably the intricate denseness of this fucking question. Next. Dear Emperor, have you ever got played? More times than the entire <laughs> fucking population of your planet, you rat <laughs> penetrator. Next. Dear Emperor, was it fatherly love that stopped you from striking down a war as soon as you forgot about this one? What was that reaction? <laughs> Look at the Holy question! Shit. Dear Emperor, was it fatherly love that stopped you from striking down Horus, or did you have sexually confused feelings for him? Horus, oh my god! Horus is his son! <laughs> oh my god, that Horus is so is funny. So funny. That is so funny. I am deeply disgusted by you, and I hope you explode. In fact... He calls them to explode. Oh, next. Mm -hmm. well, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's starting to sound like you're actually answering these questions now. I mean, the, no one's listening in, right? No, but in case someone is, I hope they feel like an awful <laughs> right about now. Also, let me go be listening in Imperial <laughs> Palace. Let me there again, okay? Okay, well, moving on then. Alright, uh, slightly better question, I think. This okay, is heroes. From, uh, our wolf who says, O oh, glorious emperor, we share thy wisdom with your most loyal servants. Is there such a thing as enough Daka? Well, I have fallen Zeno's firm. Everyone seems to be talking yeah, about Daka. how there will never be enough of it. What say you, my at the point in time when bullets can pass through the interdimensional walls, when firepower takes up the entirety and eternity of space and time, all being stuck in a never-ending life and death cycle as bullets recover and destroy their bodies in quick succession. No one able to think about anything but the sheer force of the bullets rapidly flying literally everywhere in the materium, turning the warp itself into nothing but a <laughs> semi-automatic weapon. Then there will be enough DECA, or at least almost the orc word for rapid firepower. And that is actually true. <laughs> that is the orc word for firepower is Daka. And multi laser masturbation. <laughs> multi laser masturbation. I didn't want to know that. Next question is from pretty much everyone. Oh, Seriously, yeah. There is a giant mountain of 
But yeah, the one thing you have to realize, they do call it Daka. And also, any kind of blade or weapon they use is called a Chapa. And uh, any kind of gun they use is called a Shooter. I feel yeah, the the orc language is really interesting because it's essentially uh, incredibly it's, British. Yeah, it's uh, it's a it's like British slang essentially. There's a lot it's of funny really... things about orcs. Yeah, the fact that they that they literally called their um their psychers weird boys. <laughs> so funny to me. Yeah, the weird boys, the boys, the mecha say, boys. The mecha boys. <laughs> Yeah, the mecha boys. kind of disturbs me that so many have made it. Okay. Dear Emperor, what is your opinion on the Tau? Never heard of them. I think it's much. So what are they? And, well, they're some minuscule demons. They will go over this later. Most race located on the eastern fringe of the galaxy. They're even less of a threat to us than the Dark Eldar, so it's not really worth talking about. Why would so many people send in messages about a minuscule Xeno race located on the eastern fringe of the galaxy? Yeah, in comparison to everyone else, the Tau are nothing in terms of size. Mm -hmm. They are literally the... Sp but for some reason, they have one of the most... Uh, like, they have a higher level of technology than the Imperium in such a short time that's almost incredibly impossible. But they aren't even a threat. But they can't really beat the Imperials, even with how much firepower they have, because the Imperium is just so massive that they can't really, you know. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. What? Yeah. That shoot lasers. Then. Yeah, in terms of melee, they fall to pieces. Because they are weaker and frailer than an average human, and smaller. If, if a Tau is engaging in melee with another person or species, then something is wrong. Yeah. I thought... I that or the Farsight We'll talk more about this later. Well, yeah, that's because uh, Captain Farsight has a war-powered sword. More stupid questions to answer. Yes, indeed. Like this one from Suki. <laughs> Suika Ibuki. Probably from all those fucking Tau fans. <laughs> who asks, Since your body can no longer function properly, how about mounting the Golden Throne inside the Dreadmore for a Titan so you can kick ass again? Don't you think that if I actually had that choice, I would have made it already? I think you're not taking into account that yeah. the entirety of Terra will be swallowed by a giant orc rift, and everyone will fucking die if either I or the Golden Throne would leave this place. That makes it not worth it, but only barely. Only now, barely. Next up is a question from someone who entitles himself as the Fresh Sorcerer. What a fucking nerd. He <laughs> says, Hey, shit. Want me and my brother to redo terrible shitty fanfics like the depraved, erogenous spent type stories that you and your centurion? What? It's kind of this is the year I promise to be nice to Actually, I think right. Fresh is one of his friends. Fuck it, I'm the motherfucking Emperor. Sent out some Terran escorts to wherever the fuck those guys are and pick them up so they can be converted into my personal bedtime story readers, but they are so insistent on doing. My Centurion hasn't been able to sleep that well for the last couple of days anyway. I feel this is a perfect opportunity oh my God. to continue my plans with the reformation of the Imperium. He's doing it for his, uh, his Centurion. That sounds like an excellent idea, my lord. Fuck better shackles when we're done. Now, shackles. A question from someone called Dr. White. <laughs> he asks where his fire support is. His <laughs> fucking nostrils. Next. Oh, alright. Oh, God. Uh, this one is from someone apparently known as Gohan Gasmas. He asks Seeing as science clearly dictates that diversity is the most efficient way for life to exist, why are you trying to exterminate all other life except humanity? I am not trying to exterminate all other life, but rather keep it under some form of control. Xenos are often vile and untrustworthy, as they are out to maximize their own idea of peace and happiness in the galaxy for their own separate species in their own individual ways. The human idea of peace and happiness is to have the galaxy taken over so life can thrive without wars, poverty, nor petty... The sad point is, is he does have a point because most other alien races just want to kill us, or eat us. Or a combination yeah. of the two. All living in a bright and tranquil future as was mankind's birthright. 
compare that to the Eldar who want to take over, so they can engage in fuckloads of raw, unfiltered, heathenistic super orgies again without getting into trouble. Or the yeah. Necrons who want to take over for the purpose of sucking the souls out of all living things. The, the Necrons just hate life in general. <laughs> they want to kill everything. And going back to sleep again. For the orcs who just want to fight forever and yes, the nothing of their lives. They just want to fight and forever. And not even get into those fucking tyrannids who just want to eat the whole The thing. amount of times people have just to get rid of orcs have been told, Yo, there's a good fight over here, head that way. And then move on to the next. He just I hates the Tau. There no races living in harmony with us if they didn't have such fucked up goals in mind for our galaxy. Plus, without Xeno life exterminated or under regulation, this is not an efficient way for human lives to exist, as it will only get stabbed, sliced, chopped, and numbed to death. Ooh, not of it ain't makes sense. What? Next we have Luna's <laughs> Amplar. Oh my god. Those so things make sense. The current safety imperium, which I think it would be a given, What's the first thing you would do where you would suddenly be restored to your former glory and rise to the golden throne? Well, I have a pretty big to-do list, but as a start, I will okay. do these things in this exact order. Ready? First, scratch my everything. <laughs> Second, roll around on the floor and scratch me violently. <laughs> Third, take a shower. Fourth, punch everyone in the face. And fifth, tell everyone to never ever ask stupid fucking questions again. Alright, next question. Oh this my will God. be the last one. Ready? I need to take a break and let my agony stabilize for a moment. That's fair enough, my lord. You and I can dirty after this. Well, anyway, this last one is from someone called Magnus. Dear Almighty God Emperor of Mankind, if you want the people to stop believing you're a god, why the heck do you run about with all their golden armor, wield a fiery sword, emit a glow pretty much all the time, and have other things of that nature? Seriously, man, you're kind of sending out some mixed signals that you have to admit. He's got a point there. He always is depicted literally in shiny golden armor, flying through the battlefield with a fiery sword that can literally cut through anything and kill anything oh, and well. give it true death. <laughs> like, even a demon where literally the thing with demons is that if you kill them normally, it's just, oh, they go back to the warp. No, with his sword, they die good. Look, they die for good. I want to wear or a gold armor, wield a fiery sword, emit a glow pretty much all the time, and other things of that <laughs> nature doesn't mean I want to be looked upon as a god. I'm not the one who needs to be taught not to dress like a god. You're the ones who need to be fucking taught that considering people to be gods dependent on how they look is wrong. Besides, my head designer thought all the flashy <laughs> golden bits really brought out the color of my eyes. I'm happy that I <laughs> Being dressed up in golden armor without anyone having to look up to me like a god. Yes, people have got yeah. some serious yeah. beef with a new man, calling us gods and shit. Even though <laughs> I'm the only one who has the real rights to that. Oh my life. god. Additionally, I'm happy that you at least enjoy the privilege of wearing your fucking armor. You and me, but. Oh my god. Uh, well oiled abs was what it said right there. <laughs> oh my lord. I guess oh my that god. Wraps up this one will end there. Yes. Uh. Perhaps we will read through some more questions at some other point, but I'm feeling incredibly masochistic. Now, if I may ask, could you possibly tell me the good aspects about his son? Oh, yeah. You were just about to get onto that. Uh, yes. Let oh, yeah, he was going to talk about the good things about his sons. Greetings, brothers! What? Oh, yeah. I guess we won't get to hear that. It's been a year since the first episode's release. Through these past 12 months, it has become the biggest thing I have ever made. It really has. I am incredibly happy. In addition, I've reached 20,000 subscribers. Well, he's well over that now. <laughs> yeah. I just want to give you all big spine-breaking fucking power hug seriously. Now, I'd like to make. I'd rather not like a spine-breaking hug. Sir, uh, your recognition. Howard, do not mind. First off. I'd like to dedicate this video to two friends of mine, which are Elathos and Erndil, who were both born on this very day. Oh, isn't that cool? Come to think of it, it makes me feel nice. kind of bad, because instead of making a birthday video for them, I decided to upload the first episode of Text to Beach Device last year. Huh. Anyway, I've known <laughs> Erndil since early 2011. Oh my god, that around. image. He is an incredibly dedicated <laughs> Just holding a kitty. Countless of tasks throughout these years. 
a very helpful guy and you should totally go and commission him for some creepy paint pictures because what he the fuck? challenged in that field. In this series, he voiced the Grand Provost Marshal and hopefully oh. he'll help me with some more voice work in the future. Then we got Elephant. Oh yeah. The inheritor. The only person ever who I would actually Which consider worthy of carrying the name of we have seen. established character in the 40k universe. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone else. I want to shine an especially bright skin-burning UV spotlight on his chaotic face because he needs more recognition. He has been around since the birth of the Alpha Legion, but he has mostly Wait, what? in the shadows, providing the occasional picture and video, which has always been fantastic. He has helped me a lot through the years, has always been friendly and accepting of people, always got a fun and surreal sense of humor, which I love, and yeah, that doesn't sound a lot like Elphos, <laughs> does it? But you don't know, he could be the best waffle fangling Belganius born in the, the galaxy is as well. It's, it's not like the Blood Ravens provided much information other than he's a bald guy with a shaking <laughs> voice. <laughs> he has never really gotten the recognition that he deserves, <laughs> just like Carl. I made a video before, but since I was going to release this video today anyhow, I thought I'd just as well give this massive shout out to Elephas. I would like you guys to go to his DeviantArt account because he uploads Wait, a what? lot of really nice 40k stuff to artwork frequently and he gets better I'm and gonna better every time he does it. it and you, you should go and check him out. You can also check out his YouTube channel. He makes stuff similar to mine and he has done some- Oh yeah, he has a video of just the- which apparently is just the laugh that Elphas the Inheritor, the actual one, does. A very long time. Which I is the one we've heard when he was right around. Now, he's done it for a very long time and it, it's just great to see him evolve in that field as well. And he's also working on a game for you guys. So, go and check him out. Fucking do it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching again. Love you. You better remember that. <laughs> you better remember that.